from Filter Grade, and today I'm just going to be going over how I use content marketing to help drive sales to our online marketplace. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about our film category, which I started about three or four years ago when I first started getting into film photography. Um, one of the first articles that I had put out was just a free film strips article. So for any online artists that are using um, these film borders to help create any of their artistic projects, whether it be for photos, if they want to use it in animated projects for videos, anything like that. Um, we just put together a small bundle and gave it away as a freebie. And this was a really great um, marketing technique that we started with um, by giving out the freebie. We also sent an email and promoted it on our social media platforms. And it, it really helped um, kind of start a new audience with these um, kind of more film style products. And then it also helped to reach an even wider audi audience because it was free. So that was a really good start to this film um, category. And you can see it was posted in October 2017. And I kept on working at um, different kinds of film articles, things like that. So I moved on to writing some film stock reviews. One of the films that I was shooting at the time was called Il Ilford HP5 Plus. It's a black and white film. And I just wrote a quick tutorial or a, a quick write up on that. And I. After time, I started to see that this film category, it, be, it was becoming a trend on the, the website and people really were starting to come back to see more. So instead of just doing freebies and reviews, I also started doing um, tutorials. For example, I um, came across a problem with my camera where the inside of it was, was jamming up at the time for some reason. So I just wrote a quick tutorial on how to fix it and um, I was actually quite surprised because there was a lot more people than I had expected looking at how to actually get inside of the camera and do it um, because not a lot of people have a good camera store nearby to them that they can you know, go to. And if they do, it's usually expensive to have somebody fix your camera. So uh, um, writing, this, writing this piece of content was really beneficial for us. Um, and like I said, all of these were while we were building our film um, film category on the on the marketplace. So in all of these, there's many Lightroom presets that are film style. There's many different video LUTs that are film style. Premiere Pro templates, all different types of types of products that are film. And we were using this as kind of a funnel to help drive. So anybody that was searching for film articles would come to Filter Grid. And then they also might stumble upon our products as well if they want to buy it. Um, so fast forward a little bit further. Um, we continued writing film stock reviews. Uh, what we started to do as well is make some videos about it because we saw that video content actually received a better engagement than our written content. However, the SEO benefits of having that written content was also really key to helping um this category grow as a content marketing strategy. Um, so we continued on. I, I put together some more freebies this time with just free film iPhone wallpapers. All I had to do was resize some of my images and put it together. And this was really valuable for some of our fans and customers that wanted just another freebie. So fast forward even a bit more. And <clears throat> I actually was doing some keyword research for one of a, a really popular film type, which is Kodak Portra. And something I found was that a lot of articles actually had just Kodak Portra 400, but not many of them had reviews for Kodak Portra 120 or, Co or Kodak Portra 160 or Kodak Portra 800, which are two other um, versions of the same film stock. You can see there's one here slightly down the page, the first page of Google, but everything else was Kodak Portra 400. So I decided to write a review featuring all three of the film stocks, and this actually got a first page rank on Google, which helps us to get a lot of traffic for the keyword Kodak Portra 400, 
which is really good for our marketplace and, and blog combined. So for this, I just used some of my photos to create um, an article. I talked a bit about the history of the product. Um, I used some of my images to show examples. And I even used some of the information put together by Kodak to show that it wasn't you know, all just my opinion, but it was actual, here are some of the statistics and some of the actual technology. Um, we use affiliate links to help sell some of these. So every time we're writing these articles and we're featuring a product, we are either using Amazon or Adorama, um, another camera online camera store, and we use them as, and if we use affiliate links to help sell their products and earn revenue by doing that. So that's another um, stream for us. And again, we do some of the videos to help show showcase the products. And even in this article, um, you can see we did some side by side comparisons to show the differences in the, in all of the different film stocks, which I think is really beneficial for the audience. Um, moving forward, I also found that people really wanted to just see all different types of film stocks. So I did a, a full roundup of the top 10. And this is also one of our best um, film articles that gets tons of traffic still to this day. Um, and then one of the last ones I wanted to talk about was one of the more recent articles that I put together. Um, it's called 18 of the best Super 8 transitions, borders and textures. And this was more recent, but it's a direct um, way that we've been doing inbound marketing recently where we include a, a bundle of products, whether they're all from filter grade or some might be from another third party marketplace or personal seller. Um, and we'll put together a whole, a whole bundle. And this is really great content that our customers are out there looking for. But it's also good for us because most of these products on the list directly link to our products. So people can come right to our marketplace after seeing our content and directly buy a product if they want to. I think this is um, a really key method of marketing that we've been doing over the past, that we've been growing over the past three or four years. And I think it's really been beneficial for the marketplace and also the blog. Both of them have been growing because of this. And I think we'll definitely be continuing with our content marketing strategies in the future. Um, if you have any questions about how we go about our content marketing or um, or our film category or anything in general, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, other than that, thanks so much for watching and have a good day.